Henrico's 57th district. It includes Short Pump and a small portion of Goochland. But now the nation knows it as a place that includes what some are calling a political sex scandal. Clearly uh, surprising that it occurred. And the question is, what's the impact going to be? On Monday, Washington Post journalist Laura Vozella reported that Democratic candidate Susanna Gibson, who is running for the House of Delegates seat in the 57th, quote, performed sex acts with her husband for a live audience and encouraged viewers to pay them with tips. Vozella wrote that the videos were originally streamed on a website, but the Post viewed the videos on another site because the videos on the original site are streamed live but are often archived on other publicly available sites. Vozella reported it was a Republican operative who alerted the Post to the videos. You know, we've seen a lot of sex scandals over time. They tend by and large not to determine elections. Um, we usually don't see them with women candidates, so I think this is unusual in that way. CBS 6 political analyst Dr. Bob Holsworth says he doesn't believe Democrats in the district will switch their votes away from Gibson, but he wonders how the story will impact the money Gibson is able to raise from Democrats going forward. This race is likely to be uh, or was going to be one of the most expensive races uh, in the Commonwealth of Virginia, largely because it was seen as being very competitive and could actually determine who controls the House of Delegates. So the question now is, will Democrats uh, continue to fund the Gibson campaign at the rate that they might have previously. Gibson is running against Republican David Owen. He told The Post, I'm sure this is a difficult time for Susanna and her family, and I am remaining focused on my campaign. As for Gibson, we have requested an interview with her and are waiting to hear back. She did send us a statement that reads, This is an illegal invasion of my privacy designed to humiliate me and my family. It won't intimidate me and it won't silence me. My political opponents and their Republican allies have proven they are willing to commit a sex crime to attack me and my family because there is no line they won't cross to silence women when they speak up. They are trying to silence me because they want to to silence you and I won't let that happen. My opponent and his allies know that the people of this district are on our side on the issues, so they are stooping to the worst gutter politics. There is too much at stake in this election and I'll never stop fighting for our community. Now, we ended up hearing from David Owen's campaign, and he sent us the same statement that he sent the Washington Post. Daniel Watkins, who was a lawyer representing Gibson, told me he believes the Republican operative who contacted the Post about the videos violated Virginia's revenge porn law, and they are actively working with law enforcement. I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.